Absolutely not. Hey, hey brother. brother! And welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we will be trying to vanquish the world's hardest Disney villain quiz. Yeah, this is the first time we've done this, I think maybe ever, but it is a uh, SCB original quiz. Yes, so quiz. 10 of the questions have been generated by our very own Kangaroo Cat, and the other five questions have been generated by our Kangaroo Quiz Masters. Hey! I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's gonna be very exciting. 15 questions on today's quiz. Let's dive on it. new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is on the other end of the camera and is waving, but even though you can't see her, and she's going to be reading us today's 15 questions. Yes, and Ben and I are going to answer all the questions completely from memory, unless we both agree that we have no idea, in which case Cat can give us the multiple choice. Now, today, you may have noticed we have a bit of a twist going on. In celebration of Halloween, we have introduced some danger beans into the game. The danger beans are definitely going to be a fun new uh, a fun new piece of the quiz, if yeah. you will. Inside of our danger bean can here is a variety of different flavored beans that can either be delicious and tasty or just absolutely toxic. Absolutely the worst. So if you miss a question, you have to eat a bean. And it might be okay, but it also might be yeah. dead fish. Liver and onions. Old bandage. Vomit. Just saying that one makes me feel bad. Yeah, old bandage, what does that mean? Dirty dishwasher. Oh, I'm, dude, I'm not, I really, I really don't want to miss any questions today. The, the other one that I can like, I can taste as I say it is stinky socks. Oh, so, oh man, all right. We're so. in for a real treat or not. Yeah, I suppose it could be as good as Cappuccino. You may also have noticed that we are in costume today. That is, of course, because this is our Halloween edition. I am dressed as Thor. Ben is dressed as, I guess, I don't know, me on like a Tuesday. I don't know. Just, 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 <laughs> this is just regular you. Regular J, off camera I'm, J. I'm sort of, I'm sort of going for like a nerdy Jedi with like a flap that feels like it could expose a little bit too much cleavage. <laughs> like a, so, like a <laughs> sexy Jedi. A sexy Jedi. That's me today. <laughs> there you go. That's Ben. Obviously, we're not. Uh, Disney villains, but we decided if we're going to be going up against Disney villain questions, we need to be dressed like heroes. Gotta dress the part. Exactly. Sexy part. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, today is going to be fun. Let's dive on in. Oh my gosh. Question number one. Which Disney villain repeatedly exclaims off with their heads? Okay. Or okay. some like pronoun variation thereof. Off with her head, off with his head, etc. Okay. All right. Got this one. I think, hopefully. I haven't, this is one of those movies where it's like, I'm very familiar with all the aspects of it, but like, have I seen it all the way through ever? I don't think so. Interesting. Yeah. We certainly, I'll give you a hint. We didn't own this movie growing up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This doesn't feel like a great start for me. Oh, oh no. boy, has Ben going to be right in the beans right out of the gate? With the... He definitely wasn't immediately like, oh, of course, Scar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know, Scar. Actually, it doesn't sound not like Scar, but that's yeah. true. Doesn't he? I think he does do this at one point in time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Three, two, one. The Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts is correct. <clears throat> Ooh, oh, you said two. It is what I said. Oh, good job, Ben. Right. You got that. Thank good, goodness. Good, good. Thank good. I, I actually, I will say that Jay sort of aided me in this particular one because I, I feel I, like we're a little on the same team. Like, I don't want to. I know it's I eat the bean. No, yeah. <laughs> Best case scenario is we just have these delicious or not delicious beans. Yeah. But watch this. We'll have introduced this fun thing and we'll get nothing but like juicy pear the whole time. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that'd be nice. <laughs> Lovely. Alrighty. Question number two. What are the names of Lady Tremaine's daughters? Oh no, oh no! I was like, I know this, I know this, but I'm never gonna remember it. <laughs> no. Oh no, there's, so, this is Lady Tremaine? Lady Tremaine, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This is, this is, this is, I, this always goes back, I think, to like, Cat, I think likes old school Disney. <laughs> 
more than I have consumed old school Disney. <laughs> yeah. Like they're so, not all old school Disney movies, but a handful of them are. But a handful of them are. Yeah. Which is um do you know who, where Lady Tremaine is from? Like, what movie Lady Tremaine is from? It does not even immediately, like, register as like that, oh, of course, right, score! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's not probably what she's normally called. Like, I would say it's typically, like... Would you like a hint? No, no it's fine. I, okay. think I, I think I know the zip code. I just don't know the it answer. It doesn't help. Like, this is one uh, we made, we've made, we've mentioned them before. Yeah, that's and, why I, I knew you'd mentioned them before. Yeah, it's like you can. Oh, what are the name? I'm never gonna remember. There's no chance. <laughs> do we have multiple you, choice? Yeah, we have multiple okay. choice. Oh, oh my oh, gosh, okay. let's do it. Let's <laughs> okay. do multiple choice. Multiple choice. Okay. Okay. She, okay. she has two daughters. Okay. A, Adela and Pomona. B, Anastasia and Dradona. C, Edwina and Fontina. Or D, Anastasia and Drizella. Oh my god, that did not help me very much. Oh no. That did not help me a ton. Um, okay, wait, read, read read A again. Adela and Pomona. Okay, okay, all right. And what was B? Anastasia and Dradona. Okay, I'm going, I'm going down here for my answer. This is what I'm doing with, oh man, I am. If you, I, I believe that I believe they're like color coded to represent jealousy and anger. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, that is true. Okay, I remember that, and like that's like my fun fact about these characters, though, is that <laughs> I don't remember like, oh yeah, that about them, but I don't know their actual name. I don't know that I could tell you which one is which. I can tell you the green one is jealousy and the red one's anger. No, no, but, I know that. I don't yeah, know what oh, like, oh, okay. their like. Okay. That, that <laughs> <tracks we're obviously laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. I'm I'm aware of the colors that are represented. That that reminds me of the anger. my my favorite uh, installment of the Berenstain Bears, which is the the one about the green eyed monster. Mm. Oh, you know, yeah. we, I have so many. Brent Berenstain Bears books at my house, and that is not one of them. What? I know. Oh man, we should rectify that right away. Yeah, we should. Okay. Um, are you right. going? Are you going to have a bean, Ben? I might end up having a bean. Oh boy. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said D. I also said D. D is correct. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I can't even Wow, 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 wow. The, Skinny your teeth. <laughs> the no. narrowest of margins right now. This was one of those where it was like, the fact that Anastasia was included twice was like, it is going to be a real jerk move if Anastasia is not <laughs> one, one, of one of them. them. <laughs> I know. I was like, I feel like that the, the P name was like, that doesn't, that doesn't work. So I just, that's yeah, I don't know why I thought of Pomona, but as I was reading that, I remembered Pomona Sprout. Oh, okay. So I think that's probably where my brain went, Ooh. and I don't know why. It's possible that that's the reason that Pomona sounded very familiar to me. Like, oh, as you were reading them, it was, yeah. I was like, okay, Pomona. <laughs> like, that's a name I've heard ever. Yep. And then, like, Anastasia came up, and I was like, oh, that's clearly a reference to the film Anastasia. And then Anastasia came up again, and I was like, uh oh. Ah, man. Ah, oh, no. man. <laughs> it's like, is there. <laughs> Which, highly underrated. Are there, not is it Disney definitely film. Anastasia, and she's a bad guy? Because that doesn't click with the other Anastasia movie. I know, yeah. It's like, Anastasia's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love Anastasia. Okay, all right. Well, two for two, neither of which did I feel confident about. <laughs> all right, so, we are, I don't, it's, it's I don't know if you're going to feel confident about this one either. Oh, dear. I okay. hope so, though, because this was submitted four times by patrons. Wow. Okay. So we've got okay. the first quiz master question of the game. All right, let's hear it. This question was submitted by Jack, Jordan, DJ Kempen, and Emerald Phoenix and voted on by patrons. All right. All right, guys. Let's what, see what you got for us. What is Scar's original name? Oh, but oh, we've made a video about so this. We've so done this. It's Which is like, probably why they all submitted that, because they've seen the video. It's, it's like, like something like, like that. They should know. It's something <laughs> like that. Oh, no. This is, okay, this is a fun peek behind the curtain for Super Carlin Brothers, is like we will acquaint ourselves with an idea aggressively prior to video creation and then move on to the next video where all that information just gets brain dumped. Yeah. So it's like, we'll we'll deliver facts and bits of information with so much like gusto and knowledge as if it's like a piece of common knowledge. <laughs> and then it's like, as soon as it's gone, it's like, well, whether or not we hung on to that is now gonna have to be tested by today. By yeah. today. It's like um, a, it's like um, studying for like a, like cramming for a quiz exactly. or a test yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. in high school yeah. or college. Yes. Oh man, I'm sure this is in the ballpark, but I don't think this is the exact. 
We like, do have multiple choice. Word. Oh, man. I, I don't even think I have like a, like, I don't even feel like I've got like a ballpark. Um, Cause I mean, if, if Scar and Mufasa are siblings, yeah, it stands to reason that his name would be like, like, it's not like Bill. <laughs> right, you know, it's, like, it's like, like, what means murder fossa, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> well, we could do it because you have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I would okay. go multiple choice. Okay. 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 All right. In the name of the beans. In the name of the beans. Okay, we've got A, Coda, B, Ahadai, C, Taka, or D, Paco. Oh no. Okay. I feel oh, I can spell no. any okay. Of those if okay. You need to spell I have to do this because of reasons, but okay. Okay. I think I think this came back to me. I I felt like I'm I felt so like excited. I felt like a calm yeah. settle. <laughs> That's good. But like I'm going with my gut. Okay. People will get it. Okay. Three. Ready. Oh now I'm questioning myself. Alright, three, two, one. I said C. I said A. It is C. Yes! <laughs> it's Taka. Oh my, look, Which I, is like, down, I wrote down Taku right away. Oh. And then I was like, as soon as I heard Coda, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Coda. And I was about to just circle it, and then she said Taka, and I was like, it's so similar to what I wrote. Could it? Oh. I thought it was going to be confusing because it sounds like Taka, which is That is, oh. so in the name of, of, um, Coming up with multiple choice questions, which we do for trivia all the time. I know it is very difficult to come up with good wrong answers. Like that's yeah. very frequently the greater challenge than finding a good trivia question itself. And I, my, my honest thought was like, you're trying to come up with Disney villain names in general that could like fall under again, that like, yeah. like African, yeah. like, yeah, sounding name. Sounding name. Yeah. And I was like, Teka is, that was like the one I was like, oh, I know exactly Not what they're going one. for with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I think it's, I mean, it's certainly okay for it to be extra tricky because it is. We are, I mean, there is punishment. On <laughs> this the means, line. This Which means. means you have to try a bean, Ben. So I believe all we have to do is we lift up and then lift down. Oh, there it is. Dear. Ooh, bright okay, red. So it's, it's bright it, red. Oh, no. It could be pomegranate or. Old bandage. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is one of the ones oh, I read no. that was the worst. The worst one right out of the gate. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Maybe it's pomegranate. It I might, pomegranate. Okay. Pomegranate yeah, sounds I, delicious. My mouth is like sweating. Yeah, you know how like, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you, know, you get like nauseous, there's like the mouth sweats that like, that yeah. come first. Yeah. yeah, well, we might get barf later, so. <laughs> We can't say that word. <laughs> you gotta sponges. say sponges. We might get sponges <laughs> later. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's coming out my nose. It oh, tastes no. like. Oh, no! It tastes like sulfur. Oh, jeez. Oh, you remember? <laughs> oh, it is awful. It is truly wretched. Do you remember? Those snap guns that we had as kids that would like fire. Like rubber bands? No, they no. were like, oh, like, yes. like pop guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would like smell like burning gunpowder. Yeah. That's what this is? Ugh. That's what bandages smell like? <laughs> and like maybe like some antiseptic in there as well. <laughs> because of the oh, bandage God. part, yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, well, Yikes. all right. You can, take, you can take some water if you need oh. it to move on. <laughs> This is a really. <laughs> this is, is it worse than the wings? It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it probably is it, because like you were expecting what the wings were gonna taste like. You why know is I mean? it coming out my nose so much? <laughs> like it's like I don't know if it's like if there's like a tiny bit of menthol in there. Or something. Uh, there that that would make sense because of the bandage part. Oh my Relative. god, that's what's making it horrible. It's like a siphon that's yeah. like pulling the flavor across my tongue. It's making and coming the out of my, my nose. mouth feel weird. I'm not okay. as bad as yours. All right, focus. I did not like it. I did not like it. Watch this, Ben just hates pomegranates. Bad news, Ben. That was pomegranate. <laughs> Man, and the problem is that you bite into it, and it like takes a second. So I like, yeah, took a like, single bite, and I was like, like "Oh, I'm good." Oh, good. Because I uh, obviously you really chewed it too. There's a fair bit of like sugar in there. Yeah. So I think that like at first it was like, "Okay, candy." It's just sugar. Yeah. Just can you? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Well. Okay. Danger beans, indeed. Yeah. That was not recommended. <laughs> All okay. right. Question four: Who is the leader of the Hun army? 
Oh my gosh, this is like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh man, that's a fair question. This is, it's like a, they don't say his name very often. I, they don't. And it's like Chinese and it's like, they say it fast. Um, I think that's my answer. I think, this can't be right. This can't be right. Do we want oh multiple choice? I feel like I feel like we, we're normally good about not taking the multiple choice, but I'm like I'm like a, I still have the taste of, I have the taste of old bandage rattling around <laughs> in my, yeah. my gums at the moment. This is great. So I feel like I don't want to guess. I would take multiple choice if you would take multiple choice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. A. Sean Yu. B. Li Shang. C. Chen Po. Or D. Shang Chi. I don't think it's that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. I feel good about my answer. Once again, you'll be able to see that I wrote down initially something that was in the right ballpark. <laughs> How you feeling, bud? You ready for another pomegranate bean? <laughs> nope. Be <laughs> if it's the same one again, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's just another red bean. Oh, no. Golly. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go with this. All right. All right, you ready? One, yep. two, three. I said A. I said A as well. A is correct. Oh! I said, oh. I said Sun Tzu and it was Sean Yu. Okay. Sun Tzu close. is the author of a- uh... Yeah, The Art of War. Yeah. Art of War. <laughs> See, it's in the, okay, okay. It's the right sound and the right it could general. Even... Uh? It, oh, uh, I get it. Uh, that's good. That's it could good. have even been a partial inspiration for the, the name. It could have. Um, oh man. Man, I can't even, this like palpable relief. Like this is absolutely <laughs> not about competing with you. I, <laughs> this is not Jay versus, versus the Beans. Jay ver, or, it's Ben versus Jay and the ben Beans. Ben versus the Beans. Yeah. Or Ben versus Beans. Ben, ben versus, versus Beans. beans. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Okay, question number five. This <clears throat> might be my favorite question because it might be one of my favorite Disney tropes. Okay. It is a select all that apply. Oh, okay. Which of the following Disney villains did not die in a falling related incident? Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. We've got A, Clayton, B, Gaston, C, Maleficent, D, Jafar, E, Claude Frollo, F, Scar, G, Mother Gothel, H, Captain Hook, or I, Ursula. Okay, there's people who did not die via falling. In a falling related incident. Okay. A falling related incident. Yep. Okay. Like either they died as they were falling, they died as a result of the fall. Okay. There is at least one character on here who I would say absolutely falls and it has nothing to do with what killed them. Correct. And so that is, that means that that has nothing to do. That is not a not death by falling. Wow. Okay. That was a big double negative there, <laughs> That was Kat. a big. The question is who did not die by falling? Die, die in a falling related incident. So if you die and then fall <clears throat> over the edge, that would still count as dying in a falling related Yes, incident. I would not put that as an answer. Okay. Oh my gosh, the double negative <laughs> is killing me right now. Sorry. It I should would... have been circle the people who died in a falling related accident. That's okay. squished. There is one on here that is one of the correct answers that falls, does not die, and then dies by something else. There's also an answer on here where they fall. As they are dying. I think unrelated, the fall is very unrelated to their death, <clears throat> I would say. Correct. And so, you you would not select that? I would not select that. Okay. I'm gonna have to at least go here. All right, I've got, I'm down to four. Okay. Which is where I'm, I'm at. at. <clears throat> I'm at four, Okay. but I don't feel, there's a couple of them that I don't remember, but I'm using like otherwise context clues. Yeah. yeah. And then I definitely have some arguments about a couple of them if I end up being wrong. Okay. That's fair. Um, 
I'll and then I have, it, I have at least two selected that I just, I literally don't know, but. Okay. Okay, so ready? Okay. All right, three, two, one. I have Jafar, Scar, Ursula, and Hook. Scar, I have Ursula and Hook. Maleficent, Jafar, uh, Ursula, Captain Hook, and Ursula. Okay. <clears throat> Jay is fully correct Woo! based off of my answers. Okay. I'll tell you why. Wait, okay. so Scar is? Yeah, Scar falls off the cliff, survives, totally alive, then gets eaten by hyenas. I mean, you could argue like because he fell into a pit of hyenas, he died. Okay. okay. But in my mind, like, because also like Captain Hook technically falls off the boat, but then he gets killed by a crocodile. But does he even die? It's I think implied you that he him. dies. Is it? I thought so either sort of... way, he like he does it. If he doesn't die, then he did die by falling. Okay. I feel like you just sort of see him like getting snapped by the crocodile. As he's like running as away. As like running away. Yeah. I think it's implied that he gets killed by the crocodile, but we never actually see it. Okay. 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 So, so, um, so how does Maleficent Ma die? Maleficent that... gets stabbed and then falls off of a cliff. Okay. So it's not clear if it's the stab or the falling. Oh. And then Mother Gothel, it's also not clear if it's like the... Like the she DNA. like falls and turns into dust as she's falling. So the, Mother Gothel was the one I was going to say for sure dies as a result of the charm being broken yes. and disintegrates. And then just, it's a- But she is falling as she dies. She is falling as she, yeah. But so- Which is in my mind related to the falling part of it. But so Mother Gothel is not a correct answer, but Scar is a correct answer? Correct. Right. Okay. Okay. Ben has to be seen. Oh boy. I'm very sorry. <sighs> oh, there's two. You can choose one. Okay. All, All right. right. So one could be rotten eggs or buttered popcorn. That's this one. And the other one could, I can't even tell what kind that's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be the brown one. It could be stink bug or marshmallow. What? Right. Pick your poison as they say. Okay, so I'm going with, I'm going with a potential for buttered popcorn. Okay. Although it doesn't really look like it's got the speckles on it, which worries me. But I actually like a buttered popcorn flavored you bean. You like a buttered bean? This I'm to me, that would be a, a, a negative either way to me. Okay, but yeah. then what is my worst case here? Rotten egg. Rotten egg, More yeah. sulfur. Yeah, okay, some more, yeah. Cheers. You think you're good? Yeah. Butter, butter popcorn? Butter popcorn. popcorn. Right, I'm gonna reset our- Reward thing. for the most confusing Woo. question. Apologies. Woo! Okay. Relief. Right. Relief. Tangible. Tangible. Wow. Okay. And now it's time for the second quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Joshua Quinn and voted on by patrons. What were Jafar's four wishes? It does include the wish that he wishes that he cannot have. Okay, I got it. I'm in. I'm locked. Jafar's? Yeah. Yes. Has Jafar four. gets the, the gets the lamp. He okay. is supposed to have three wishes. He wishes. Uh, his third wish is not something that he is able to have, or maybe his second wish. Uh, I don't know. Hang on. I'm just gonna put this. That's my guess. But I feel like there's a chance that two of these are wrong, so we'll just see how we go. Three, All two, right. one. I said one wishes to become Sultan of Agrabah. Yep. For Jasmine to fall in love with him. Yep. To become the most powerful sorcerer in the world. Yep. And then to become the genie. Yep. Oh, okay. Sorcerer is what I couldn't remember. Oh no. <laughs> so I had Sultan, genie, Jasmine, snake. Snake? I did. I, we did have snake as an alternate answer. So. Do, because okay. doesn't he become a snake? He does yep. as a sorcerer. That's part of the sorcerer powers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Alrighty, bean it up. Well, bean it up. Well, Let's do it. We'll ben? just call it the Ben Bean episode. I'm so sorry, Ben. Ben Beanode. Uh oh. Oh, dear. Oh, no. They look it's the same. Clear, it's no. clearly one or the other is the clearly, I mean, they both could be bad or they both could be good or they could be one or the other. Up close, they look to be obviously the ones that are meant to represent one another. Okay, and which is? Which is barf or peach. Oh, I love peach. <laughs> Oh man, so one's pretty good, one's pretty not. Okay, one's a little more opaque, yeah. and the other one's a little more translucent. I feel like that's the peachy looking one. Uh, that, you know, I was thinking the same thing. It yeah. feels like it's got peach yeah. essence to right. it. Right, okay, so let's see, oh gosh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm so oh, sorry, Ben. Oh. Well. <laughs> 
please drink some water. <laughs> it's truly horrendous. <laughs> Oh and the heart. problem is, is that like, can you still taste the old bed? <laughs> just like try to swallow it as quick as possible. Just get right. it down. That's the problem. Oh my god. <laughs> That's. Uh, I think it was worse. Oh no, it was worse. I think it was worse. I think, it was worse. I think it was worse. Wow. At okay. least the. Uh, Let's give it a shake. You know. Yeah. Maybe swirl it about. Give it a. All right, you're uh, you're my statistically speaking, my next one should be good. You're one there for you three. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, yeah, <laughs> one for three. Oh man. Okay. I'm still just I'm just shaking over here. I'm like, oh, I haven't had to do it yet. Okay. Maybe it's the extra motivation you need. Maybe. Get a perfect score. <laughs> okay. Okay. Question number seven: Which Disney villain's song contains the lyric? I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. Got it. Locked. There aren't you many. Can, yeah, female villains. Female villain songs. Right. So okay. you can narrow it down with that. Yeah, I, the I, the thing that really gets me is that like I really haven't watched like I, I haven't watched a lot of like the early stuff for a very, very long time. Um, I'm gonna go with this. All right, ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Ursula. It is indeed Ursula. <laughs> Poor Unfortunate Souls, one of the oh, best Disney songs. Not the best. Souls, that's a one of the best. today. In I my feel opinion. like a Poor Unfortunate Soul, indeed. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Using song lyrics against me, Cat. Sorry, I thought that one was pretty easy. That's okay, we got it, we got we it. We did get we'll it. move past it. Question number eight. What was Jafar's title? I don't know if I spelled that right, but I think that's okay. you'll get the, the gist. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Didn't seem like you wrote enough. Oh no. <laughs> that makes me nervous. Well, it makes me nervous that I wrote too much. I wrote two words. Okay. All right, ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Said the royal vizier. Oh, I said the chief advisor to the, the sultan. sultan. Oh, okay. it, that is essentially what he does, but the title is royal vizier. Woo! Yeah. We're crushing it today, man. Words that I use regularly. The royal vizier. <laughs> Indeed. Oh boy. At do this you, point, do you I'm, want to do the honor? No, I don't. Not okay, at all. I got nope, it. Nope. I got, I'll got the, you covered. The good news is, statistically speaking, this should go exceedingly <laughs> oh, fine. At least exactly same same as the last exactly. one. <laughs> Please be beach. All right, oh, come on. No. Here's the beach. Peach, 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 peach. Which doesn't taste like anything. Oh, Maybe your okay. mouth's acclimated to the <laughs> to the park to the sponges. <laughs> to the sponges. Excuse me. No, it's coming. It's the same as last time. Oh, no. oh God. Tastes like old crawdads. <laughs> old crawdads. That's so specific. So specific. <laughs> been a lot of been around a lot of old crawdads. I'm not having a good day. I can tell. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. Fine. Your breath. Yeah. No. Amazing. <laughs> I think there's a toothpaste flavor in here somewhere. That's yeah, supposedly maybe. supposed to be bad. That's about, no, that's supposed to be one of the good. Oh, you're right. I'll yeah, take so blue. Yeah, take if you get a blue anything. one, that's almost no big deal. No big deal. No All big right. Deal. Okay. All right. As long as it's not another, <laughs> another one of those. Water? It like comes in waves, man. I'm sweating actually right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ben. I feel so bad. <sighs> okay. Alrighty. And now it's time for the third quiz master oh, no. question of the game. Oh, no. This question was submitted by Rachel and voted on by patrons. I might just go ahead and give you the multiple choice for this one because it is from an old one. What is the name of Cruella DeVille's house? Oh, he might have it. I think that's it, but um... man, what's the Latin word for Dalmatian skin? <laughs> it is not that, I can tell it you that. It is a little more direct. It is, it is two English words. <laughs> Okay, okay. Words. That helps narrow it down. It does. Which I believe one of them is a little less family friendly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, do they start yeah. with the same letter? They do. Okay. I think Jay might have it. Okay, I think I have it. I can't even make something up in my head, you guys. Oh no. If I tell you the first word, do you think you could no. make a guess? No. <clears throat> well, maybe you'll get to the base. I'm so sorry, man. Oh, no. All right, three, two, one. 
I, I could be wrong. I wrote Hell Hall. It is Hell Hall. Oh, I put the Dog Pound. I <laughs> like that. Right. That is a really good name. Basically right. Yeah. Uh, Essentially. Uh, I think Ben's gonna leave after this. Yeah. <laughs> He's just going yeah, home. I'm just gonna go home. That's it. I'm yeah. just. I'm just gonna throw in the towel. He's mad at all of us. Everyone. Do you? No. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'll give it a good swirl. I don't, don't want to interact with it more than I have to. You don't want it to be your fault. Oh, there's two. And they're brown. And, well, they're different. One's yeah. One could be the toasted marshmallow, and one I think could be some like cappuccino or something. One's one is either strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish. Ooh, uh. to go with my old crawdads. <laughs> like, your mouth already kind of tastes like dead fish, right? So, oh gosh, please. Oh, oh! Is it good? It's good. Strawberry oh, banana. Good. That's good. Wow. Oh, good. You, been, you haven't been having a good <laughs> record. <laughs> Thank God. Whew. Sweet relief. But on that note, though, you know what? It feels like a good. On time. a high note. Oh, on yeah. a high note. <laughs> on a, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna Get go back. like. I'm gonna bask in the, my mouth joy for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I have. Um, it's extremely possible he's not coming back. Hello and welcome everybody to the Sandy Crew where I needed to get out of there, something awful. I was really hurting. The good news is that one of the things Jay doesn't know is that I actually have a secret hideout here at the office where if I'm really lucky, yeah, I have an even better bag of beans. While these beans actually only have one flavor, technically, uh, which is coffee, because there's a coffee bean in the center, they are covered in a different variety of chocolates and I can't even I needed this right now. I mean, seriously, they're just, well, you can't really see them here. Let me turn on the light. Oh, man. I thought it was just amazing. Just perfect, right? And the best part is, this is actually the latest product from Carlin Brothers Coffee. They're available now. You can head on over to carlinbrotherscoffee.com and search out the single flavored beans. I really can't recommend them enough. They're made by artisanal chocolatiers and they are so delicious. Again, carlinbrotherscoffee.com. Link in the description down below. But for now, it's back to the game. Ho, ho, ho. Thanks, you can hide the honey from me. Not today! Which is actually a fantastic segue into today's sponsor, which is Honey. And it could not have come at a more opportune time because you might not know this, but today, the day this video is going live, is actually Ben's birthday, which makes it the perfect time to order him a gift, which I have not done yet. But the good news is I can use Honey, which is the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Now, if you're like me, you probably do a lot of shopping online, but then if you're also like me, a lot of times you get to the checkout and it's like, put on coupon code and you're like, oh, there, there must be one if there's an option to put one in, but I don't, I don't have one. But those days are now gone because I have Honey. So searching for coupons is a thing of the past. If you don't know what it does, Honey scours the entire internet looking for promo codes you can apply on whatever website you're checking out of. It tries every single one of and then applies the best deal to your cart. Now, as it were, I feel like Ben's having to eat some really disgusting beans in this episode. So I thought it might be a great idea to get him some really good chocolate for his birthday, which I mean, for all I know, he's off eating his own chocolate right now. Either way though, I'm gonna start using honey here and boom, we have found a promo code to save 15% off this treasure trove of chocolate, which is great because now I can use the savings to buy more chocolate. It is seriously so easy. You just click apply coupons and then it works and you have free savings. Plus, Honey doesn't just work on your desktop. It can work on your iPhone too. Just activate it in Safari and you can start saving money on the go. Seriously, there is no reason not to happen. It doesn't cost anything and will actively save you money without you having to do anything. So not only are you doing yourself a solid, but you're also supporting this show. And I never recommend it if I didn't personally use it, which I do. So go ahead and download it for free today at joinhoney.com slash J verse B. One more time, that's joinhoney.com slash J verse B. Link is in the description down below. Hey, there he is. Hey, hey. I found some other beans while I was out. Oh, <laughs> they nice. tasted way better. <laughs> and my mood, considerably improved. Excellent. <laughs> Energy level, way higher. <laughs> that's good, that's good to hear. That everything's everything's coming up, Ben. It's a regular buzzy bean over here. Hey! hey. I'm feeling pretty good Tune about- Tune into popcorn culture. Hear more Buzzy B. Yeah. <laughs> I feel pretty good about what's to come. Yeah? Yeah. Oh no. Highly optimistic all of a oh, sudden. All of a sudden. Man, I don't like yeah. this optimism. It makes me feel look, like I'm, I'm, I'm even willing to touch the danger beans. Oh wow, that is dangerous. Question number 10. At Hercules' birth celebration, what does Hades attempt to give baby Hercules before he crushes Hades' finger? 
I've got my answer. Okay. Hades attempts to give him something that probably you shouldn't give a child. Yes. Almost certainly. Knowing Hades. Yeah. Knowing Hades. And his affinity for things. Is, does that mean we need like a, like a descriptor? Yeah, kind of. If you just give me the main thing of what it is. Okay. Which I don't think it's ever said, and there are two things that it kind of looks like. So if you say the other thing, I'll give it to you. It's okay. not a game of pull my finger, is it? <clears throat> not quite, no. <clears throat> okay, okay. Classic on He's game. like, do you want me to give you a little bit of a hint? No, no, okay. I'll just think about it. I'll okay. just think about it. Think about sure, the scene, kind of what he's doing. Scene. Yeah. It's that little chunky baby, little Hercules, with that little swirly hair thing. The little sunspot. A little, little sunspot. Sun spot. He does say it as, I think he says that as he's giving it to him. Or maybe right after he crushes his finger, I can't remember. Okay, okay. Hmm. We'll go with this to keep it on theme. Especially since I can't remember. Ready? Three, two, one. Like a, a spiked rattle. Oh, I said yeah. a, a danger bottle. A yeah, danger it's like bottle. a, it's, so it's technically a spiked, like a skull shaped pacifier, but it does look like a rattle, but he's like trying to put it in his mouth, but I will give you rattle. Okay. All right. Thank you. Cause okay. as I was looking at it, I was like, oh, that's a rattle. And then I looked it up and it said pacifier. Oh, oh occurred, interesting. I thought like the joke was like, it's a death rattle. Like, oh, uh, yeah. that is more clever. We yeah. should uh, update the wiki fandom. Yeah, page. we should. Hey, come on guys. <laughs> but I guess it's cause he's putting it in his mouth. But I pacifiers guess so. look different than that. And it's got like a little handle, so I will definitely give you a rattle for that. Okay. All yeah. right. Come on, blue. It's brown. It's brown. <laughs> okay. It is either it looks like stink bug or toasted marshmallow. Hey. You know what it's gonna be. <laughs> we all know what it's gonna you be. You got a good man, one. You're being time. such a good sport about all this. Proud of you, man. Oh no. Oh, no. Is it the stinkiest of bugs? Is it spot on flavor to smell? Or is it not even stink bug? It is in fact the worst one yet. Oh, no. oh gosh. God, that's terrible. I can't believe it's getting worse. <laughs> I can't believe it either since you started with old bandage. I ben, when we're, when we're done with this, I will come over and do one of these beans. If you Stay want to. Stay tuned for that, guys. Stay tuned for that at the end if you want me to. It's over. It's over. It's over. You did it. You Let's did it. I'm really forward. proud of you. Dude, I think, I think despite losing, I think you're kind of winning. It doesn't feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, it really, it doesn't feel you're like- You're proving, I think you're proving that you are, he may be the strongest Avenger, but you're the strongest brother. Oh. There you go. Wow. Oh, yeah. You seen <laughs> these guns? Shoo! <laughs> Man. You got taste for looking, You don't dude. have to clarify yeah. for me. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of comes with the territory. Yeah. All right. I even grew my beard out. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, looks great. Yeah. Was that like a, like a month long beard? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Question number eleven: What name is Doctor Facilier commonly known as? What name? Okay. Uh, Tiana says this as you you have been messing with the blank. I feel like I know. I feel like that's it. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with that. Maybe. Uh, this is what came to mind. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Said witch doctor. I also said witch doctor. Oh, you are both wrong. Oh. <laughs> Finally, Jay. Oh, no. uh, it is the Shadow Man. No, the oh, the Shadow, Shadow Man. Messing with the Shadow Man. Okay. No. Uh, we yeah, had another. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Now that I say You're it. Messing with the Shadow Man. We actually had another Quizmaster question that I I didn't want to put on here because it was so similar to this question, but it is similar to Peter Pan, which Disney villain has a shadow that operates separate from his body. Which oh, his shadow okay. does do that. Yeah. Well, I can't even tell. One of them looks like it's the rotten egg burnt popcorn. I can't tell if the other one's supposed to be dead fish or barf. But I'll let you choose. Dead fish first. or barf? I think it would be. Well, I could. It, that, those are the bad options. Yeah. But all right. Well, I'm yeah. Gonna, which one's more risky? I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the. Oh gosh. Take the so roll of the dice. I've got either rotten egg or buttered popcorn. <laughs> which I said bad. earlier, I didn't want either of. So I think that's why Ben took it. I know. <laughs> Mm. Mine's good. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, mine's butter popcorn. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Woo. Both got lucky on that one. Okay. Wow. Okay. Double heads, y'all. Double Woo. heads. Woo. This is the fourth quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Andrew Buick and voted on by patrons. Which Disney villain song needed two voice actors because the original actor lost their voice during production? From, uh, from... 
one film to the next or no just... it's in this it's in the same scene it's in the same scene so like, it's in the same song same scene one character sings the whole song but it's actually two people doing the same character correct okay yes yeah i think it switches oh. a little less than halfway through maybe okay uh, God, I don't feel confident about it. I don't either. Th something came to mind, and it's possible that I'm like completely mixing up a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, but this was the only thing I had. Okay. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Of a scar. Uh, yeah. Th th it's be prepared. So yeah, oh, I'll give you that. Yes. Okay. Oh, Jeremy oh, okay. Irons. Yeah, Jeremy Irons scar. You got it. Okay. Okay. The oh, question okay. was, what was the song? But I oh, 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 I'm I sorry. You said which Disney villain? I actually thought it was which actor. So oh, that would be even harder. That's totally okay. fine. Yeah, it's which Disney villain song. But okay. I will, I will Ooh. give you that. That is fine. Ooh. Dodge okay. another one. Alrighty. Question number thirteen. What dish does Mother Gothel say she is going to make for Rapunzel for her birthday? All I can think of is old crawdads, but I think it's because it's just oozing out of my face. At the time. That makes sense. That and makes sense. It doesn't sense. seem like Rapunzel would love that as a no. dish. Like probably due to the high risk of food poisoning. All right, let's go multiple choice. Okay. okay. A, hazelnut soup. B, parsnip soup. C, apple strudel. Or D, schnitzel. Okay. Right. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said apple strudel. I said A. It is A, it's hazelnut soup. Yes. Yes. Hazelnut soup. I, okay. I thought the parsnip was gonna throw you off because she says, I got parsnips, I'm gonna make your favorite hazelnut soup. Oh. Sneaky. Uh, and the first thing that came to my mind was apple pie. And then I was like, Rapunzel bakes pies. Why would she make her an apple pie? <laughs> but then he said apple strudel. And I was like, ooh, maybe it was strudel because yeah. it's like a, a German thing and yeah. it's still apple. Anyway. Yeah, that's why I went with that because it was German. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, oh. so. Yet Future again, the, the potential barf <laughs> is on the table. It's so much more fun on this side of it, right? It's so much more, really, Do you feel so good right now, Ben? I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, this could be peach. Here we go, guys. Oh, it's barf. Oh, oh no! no. I'm not good. Oof. Don't worry, when you eat a second one, it just amplifies it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you get the old crawdad? Mm -hmm. No. There's some crawdad in there. It's like a it's like a briny, mucky mess. Hmm. Yeah, it's not great. Whew. Yikes. It does. It's in my nose. <clears throat> it's in your nose. It's getting worse. Yeah. yeah. It continues to like marinate. Oh, good good word. Yeah. Good, good word. word. Good word. Oh. Okay. okay. Question number fourteen. What is the name of Governor Ratcliffe's pug in Pocahontas? <sighs> Oh man! <laughs> Do you want multiple choice? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. I have no I wanna, idea. <laughs> I just want the quiz to be over. <laughs> I know. I want okay. To be all right. I'll read them misery. quick. I'll read them quick. All right. We got A. Flick. B. Miko. C. Percy. Or D. Harold. Okay. I got it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Ready? Yeah. Oh no, that doesn't seem right. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Uh oh. <clears throat> Something sounded familiar, but now I think it's for the wrong reason. Yeah, that could be true. Um, there are three animals in this movie that have names. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Percy. See? Percy. Yes. Correct. Percy? Okay. Oh. okay. All right. and Miko are the hummingbird and <clears throat> yep. um, raccoon. Correct. Okay. This is the fifth quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Dola. And oh. voted on by patrons. Hello, Dola. <laughs> Alrighty. Which villain is referred to as scary beyond all reason multiple times? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ending on a high oh, note. Oh, describe her. <laughs> oh, scary beyond all reason? That's it. That's it. <laughs> all right. Uh, three, two, one. Maleficent. <laughs> <laughs> it is Yzma. Oh, my goodness. Our we favorite. It. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's over. It's Did you only have one yeah. bad bean? I had, I had to try two and only had one bad, so. I got the odds right, you know. Yeah. I'm yeah. not allowed to write quizzes anymore. No. <laughs> oh, man. It wouldn't have been so Do bad. Do you want me to try a danger bean? It's for yeah, the beans. Yeah, I think Cat has to come All try right. a danger bean. All right, yes. everybody. Introducing the one, the only, Kangaroo Cat. All right. Hi, guys. Hello. I'm a Hello, and welcome to my show, Ben's Bean Bag. Ben's Bean Bag. I'm a fairy. Got my little, little fairy costume. If you can't tell. All right. All right. Let's I'm see. I'm so nervous. I have the worst cat. Oh, hold oh. on. 
Oh, okay. There's three. There's three. Oh, a couple God. browns and a red. Oh, God. Um, I'm gonna go with the red. I really like pomegranate. Whew! Okay. What could it be? I'm sweating. Uh, the bandage or the pomegranate? Oh, oh the bandage was bad because it had that, like, menthol -y taste. You do look a little pale. <laughs> I don't feel good right now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. Guess about the sponge on set. <laughs> it's okay. I, I just got. Mm. Oh, it's still on my tooth. I know, I know. Oh, man. My punishment for writing a too hard quiz. Okay. <laughs> well, Jay did great for what it's worth. So, great. I mean. <laughs> I'm oh. sweating. Bye, guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ethan. I edit Popcorn Culture, and I'm dressed as Albus Dumbledore from book three onward, or movie three onward. Who? Oh, oh you, got a, you got a deadly duo as well. Oh, God. Okay. What are my options here? Okay, so it looks like you could also have old bandage or pomegranate, okay. or alternatively, potentially rotten egg or butter popcorn. Okay, I'm going to go with pomegranate or old bandage. Okay. Okay. I think, is this one? Is it's been, one? so this is what got Cat just a moment ago. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like the fruit flavors hit pretty quick. Do you feel it in your nose? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it taste like old crowd ads? Mm-hmm. Ugh. That's disgusting. That's the worst. <laughs> oh, I can't swallow it. You guys are making the whole show worth it for me. I can't, like... Uh, I know, I know. It's like your body is telling you, like, don't finish eating this. <laughs> like, this is not food. Oh, it's stuck in my teeth. <laughs> yeah, that's the same thing Ugh. I'm glad I didn't have to eat stink bug, though. Jeez. Ugh. Hello and welcome to Ben's Meat Bag. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> My costume is actually, I'm wearing sunglasses. Whoa! 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 <laughs> you look just like the guy in sunglasses. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. Oh, wow, now you, now it's just Riley. The one, okay. the true, the only. Uh, okay, here we go. I have not been in the room for this, so I don't. I have no idea what these are. Okay, yours looks mes less menacing than everyone else's okay. has. I feel like it's gonna be a real bummer if it's not like this. I know. You know? Doesn't seem good. He could just eat it. Oh, yeah. It probably is what it is. I am so glad that this went poorly for everyone else. <laughs> it's like, it's not good, but it tastes it kind of tastes like a stink bug with oh. sugar on it. Oh, no, there is a stink bug flavor. Oh, is there? Yeah. Wow. Well, well, thank you to the SEB team for coming in, being a part of it, slash guy in sunglasses, slash. Chewbacca. <laughs> and now we need to give a huge thank you to these quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Big thank you to Jack, Jordan, DJ Kempen, Emerald Phoenix, Joshua Quinn, Rachel, Andrew Buick, and Dola. If you too would like to try to stump us with your trivia questions, you can head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the quiz masters tier. Guys, as ever, thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of Jay vs. Ben. If you would like to check out another episode where we just absolutely punished ourselves with super hot wings, you can see our Goblet of Fire quiz right over here. Otherwise, until next time, bye!